Okay, so let's get right into it. We hear all this talk about massive new AI models, right? But what if the real secret to making AI agents truly smart isn't just the model? What if it's this crucial kind of behind the scenes skill called context engineering? It's basically the craft of building smarter AI. And today we're gonna break down exactly what that means and why it's so incredibly important. And who better to kick us off than Andre Karpathy? He calls it the delicate art and science of filling the context window with just the right information. Now that phrase, just the right information, that is everything. This isn't about just stuffing the AI with data. It's about being incredibly smart, incredibly selective about what it's thinking about at any given moment. So to really get our heads around this, let's use a metaphor we're gonna keep coming back to. Think of the LLM, the big language model, as the AI's CPU, you know, its brain, the central processor that does all the actual thinking. Well, the context window then is its RAM, its working memory. And just like the RAM in your computer, it is super, super fast, but it's also very, very limited. And that limitation right there brings us to the fundamental challenge we're trying to solve. The AI's limited memory isn't just some small quirk. It is a massive bottleneck that AI engineers are constantly wrestling with. So you might be thinking, why is this such a big deal? Why is this finite context window, this limited RAM, such a huge problem when we're trying to build AI agents that can do really complex, long-running tasks? Well, the problem boils down to one word accumulation. Just imagine an AI agent trying to, I don't know, research and write a detailed report. Every tool it uses, every website it reads, every little interaction, it all generates this mountain of new information. And pretty soon, all that data floods its working memory, its RAM, until it's totally overwhelmed and just starts to break. And when that memory overloads, things go wrong in some really specific ways. First, you can get context poisoning. That's where one tiny mistake, one little hallucination, gets stuck in its memory and corrupts everything that comes after. Then there's context distraction, where the agent gets so buried in noise and details that it literally forgets what it was supposed to be doing in the first place. This leads to confusion from all the extra stuff, and eventually clash, where it finds contradictory info and the whole process just grinds to a halt. And look, this isn't some minor fringe issue. The team over at Anthropic points out that these agent tasks can involve hundreds of individual steps. If you don't have smart, careful strategies to manage what the agent is paying attention to, it's pretty much guaranteed to fail. This is a huge real-world engineering challenge. So, if that's the problem, what's the solution? Well, this is where we shift from the challenge to the craft. This is the art of engineering context. Context engineering is what we call this whole collection of 